Hello everyone, I am Rama. In this video, I am going to explain finite difference method to solve boundary value problems in ordinary differential equations. Let us consider a second order linear differential equation of the form f of x comma y comma y dash comma y double dash equal to 0. Let us take it as equation 1. This equation is subjected to the boundary conditions y of x not equal to y not and y of x n equal to y n. We are not going to solve this equation using any analytical methods. That means we are not going to get any relation between x and y so that uh, y can be obtained at any x. We are going to find y values between the starting and ending points x not comma x n. Let us take some x values between x0 and xn for which let us find a fixed difference h that is equals to ending point minus starting point xn minus x0 by n by choosing n value. This n can be chosen as 2, 3, 4 etc. It is our wish to choose any number of x values between x0 and xn if we take less number of x values then we can easily solve the differential equation if we are taking more number of x values between x0 and xn then solving the differential equation may be a tedious process so by taking h value as xn minus x0 by n by choosing n all the x values can be taken in the form of x0 x1 x2 and so on xn minus 1 comma xn here we can see that the difference between every two successive x values will be h that means x1 minus x0 is h x2 minus x1 is h and so on xn minus xn minus 1 is h here our aim is to find y values at all the internal points that means y values at x1 x2 and so on xn minus 1 for which we will replace the derivatives y dash y double dash which are appearing in equation 1 by the finite difference approximations which are derived from Taylor series expansion which are given below if there is a first derivative y dash in the equa in the differential equation then y i dash can be replaced by 1 by 2 h into y i plus 1 minus y i minus 1 and then if there is a second derivative y double dash then it is to be replaced by y i double dash equal to 1 by h square into y i plus 1 minus 2 y i plus y i minus 1. In the given differential equation, in place of x we write x i, in place of y we write y i, this is y i dash, this is y i double dash. Now from finite difference approximations, that means we use this r h s part of y i dash, y i double dash in equation 1 so that the derivatives will be disappeared hence by giving i values 1 2 3 and so on n minus 1 in equation 2 after replacing the derivatives by rhs parts then a system of linear equations will be generated there are n minus 1 linear equations in unknowns y1 y2 and so on y n minus 1 now using any known methods we can solve the system of linear equations for unknowns y1 y2 and so on y n minus 1 that means these are the values of y at x1 at x2 and so on x n minus 1 this is the finite difference approximation method this can be extended to any order differential equation if there are other derivatives like 
y triple dash and fourth derivative etc they also can be replaced by finite appro finite difference approximations like this let us see an example solve the equation y double dash equals to x plus y with the boundary conditions y of 0 equal to y of 1 is equals to 0 let us write the given differential equation with the suffix i so that it is going to be y i double dash equal to x i plus y i let us take it as equation 1 which is subjected to the boundary conditions y of x naught equal to y naught and y of x n equal to y n so from this we can write x naught is 0 x n is 1 y not 0 y n is 0 I already told you choosing n value is our wish in this problem I am choosing n is equals to 4 n equal to 4 so in first step let us find h value which is obtained as x n minus x naught by n that means h is 1 minus 0 by 4 this is equals to 1 by 4 this h equal to 1 by 4 is to be added starting with x naught and we uh, taking the values ends at x n so that x values can be listed as x naught equal to 0 x1 is x naught plus h this is 1 by 4 and x2 is x1 plus h 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 2 by 4 it is and x3 equal to x2 plus h which is 3 by 4 and x4 equal to x3 plus h which is 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 equal to 1 this one is our boundary point so there are 5 x values among these x0 and x4 are the end points so there are 3 internal points x1 x2 x3 now our aim is to find y values at x1 x2 x3 that means there are three unknowns y1 y2 y3 so as the highest derivative is the second derivative appearing in given differential equation let us replace the second derivative by finite difference approximation so that the equation 1 can be written as 1 by h square into y i plus 1 minus 2 y i plus y i minus 1 equal to x i plus y i let us use h value in this as h is equals to 1 by 4 1 by h square will become 16 so this is 16 into y i plus 1 minus 2 y i plus y i minus 1 equal to x i plus y i since there are three unknowns y1 y2 y3 are to be determined then i values to be taken as 1 2 3 let us start giving i values for i is equals to 1 we will get 16 into y2 minus 2 y1 plus y0 equal to x1 plus y1 in this equation there are some known values and there are some unknown values let us use the known information we have y0 value as 0 y not value as 0 let us use that and we have x1 also x1 is 1 by 4 so that this equation will become 16 y2 minus 32 y1 and there is one more y1 on right hand side let us take it to left hand side then minus 32 minus 1 will become minus 33 y1 y not is 0 so this is not taken this is equals to x1 is nothing but 1 by 4 let us take it as equation 2 now we will put i is equals to 2 in the equation then we get 16 into y3 minus 2 y2 plus y1 equal to x2 plus y2 again we can use the known data here then we write it as 16 y3 minus 32 y2 and one more y2 on right hand side let us take it to left hand side then we get minus 32 minus 1 is nothing but minus 33 y2 and plus 16 y1 this is equals to 1 by 2 let us take it as equation 3 again we can put i equal to 3 in this equation then we get 16 into y4 minus 2 y3 
plus y2 equal to x3 plus y3. We have y4 equal to 0 as n equal to 4 then yn is nothing but y4 equal to 0. We can use that value in this equation. So this term will become 0 16 into minus 2 minus 32 y3 and one more y3 is on our hs part. Let us take it to LHS then it becomes minus 33 y3 plus 16 y2 equal to x3 is nothing but 3 by 4. Let us take it as equation 4. Now we can observe the equations 2, 3 and 4. These three equations are in three unknowns y1, y2, y3. These three equations together is called a system of linear equations in three unknowns. This can be solved very easily. Using the calculator, I got the values y1 equal to minus 0 0.0348, y2 equal to minus 0 0.0532 and y3 equal to minus 0 0.05. 003. Y1 in the sense y at x1, x1 equal to 5, uh, 1 by 4. So y of x1 in the sense y of 1 by 4 equal to minus 0 0.0348 and y of y2 is nothing but y of x2, x2 is 1 by 2. So y of 1 by 2 equal to minus 0 0.05632 and y3 is nothing but y of x3 x3 is 3 by 4 so y of x3 uh, y of uh, 3 by 4 equal to minus 0 0.05003 this is the way to solve finite difference method here choosing n is our choice completely if n is taken a large value then uh, a big uh, system of linear equations will be generated in many number of unknowns then the process becomes more tedious to get all the values hence it is always better to choose either n equal to 3 or n equal to 4 if n is not given in the problem i hope you understood thank you